Howdy! This instructional video is going to show you how to register and use the Texas A&M Psychology Department's online experiment system known as Zona. You will learn how to create an account and sign up for studies to complete your requirement for your Introduction to Psychology or Psych 107 course. You will also learn what to expect when you are going to be participating in these studies. If you are watching this video because your upper level psychology course is offering extra credit, most of the information will apply to you as well but you will need to check your syllabus for how many points you can earn for your specific class. As an Introduction to Psychology student, you are required to complete seven hours of research participation. You may do this in one of two ways. You can either participate in seven hours of actual research experiments, or you can write seven research review papers. I strongly recommend that you complete your hours by participating in research experiments, and not only because I'm narrating a video on how to do so. It is much more fun to participate in research than to write seven papers, and your instructor will appreciate not needing to grade seven papers for every student. You can also mix and match to complete your seven hours of research participation. If you do not complete your research requirement, you will receive either an incomplete or a failure for your course. See your syllabus for details. Either way, you are unable to earn a grade in the class without completing your research participation requirement. For more information about the alternative research review papers, please see your syllabus and talk with your instructor. SONA gives out one credit for every 30 minutes of research participation, so you'll need a total of 14 credits in SONA to meet your requirement. Before I show you how to register for an account in SONA, please note that you must be 18 or older to participate in studies. This is because, legally speaking, you are not considered an adult if you are under 18, and they are therefore unable to consent to participate in research. If you are under 18, please talk to your instructor about the alternative assignments. If you will turn 18 during the semester, you can create an account now and sign up for studies that take place after your 18th birthday. For everyone else over 18, you will use the online experiment system known as SONA to sign up for studies and track your progress throughout the term. You can access SONA from any internet device. There is also an app for your smartphone. However, SONA does a good job at resizing to fit smaller screens, so you may decide just to access it through your phone's web browser. You can easily find SONA by googling TAMU Psychology SONA, and it should be the first link that appears. This is what the Psychology Department SONA page looks like. You know you're in the right place when you see the words Psychology Bar Department at the top of the screen and Aggie Maroon. Usually you'll be able to just type, on your, type in your logon information on the left of the screen, but this time you'll need to create an account. You'll just simply click Request an Account and fill out the form on the next page. Please be sure to make sure you enter your first and last name correctly, as this is what your instructor will see on their final report. Next, make sure that your user ID is the first part of your TAMU email address. That is, everything before the at sign in your A&M email address. It should be the same thing as your net ID that you use to log into Howdy. SONA will add at tamu.edu to whatever you type into this text box and send a temporary password to that resulting email, so make sure that you enter this correctly. Let's say my email address is psychologyrocks at tamu.com. I would type in psychology rocks into the user ID text box so that my temporary password is sent to the right place. And then you would re-enter the first part of your email address to make sure that it is entered correctly. <clears throat> For your student ID number, please enter your UIN. Again, this is to help your instructor match your record at the end of the semester to their gradebook between your student ID and your uh, first and last name. Finally, look through this drop-down list and for the list of courses and select your instructor. Make sure you pick an, a section, the correct section, if your instructor is teaching multiple sections. So for example, if you're in Dr. Bowden's Psych 107 class, make sure you know if you're in section uh, 504 or 505 before clicking on it. That way your instructor will be able to get your name in the correct uh, report at the end of the semester. Finally, just click Request an Account to get a temporary email address sent to your TAMU email. Once you get your temporary password, you will be able to log in. I made another account earlier to show you what this is like. You'll simply type your user ID here and your password. 
Your Sona page will look like this. If you want to change your password to something that's more memorable, you can do so by clicking on the Change Password uh, link down here. I recommend doing so because you'll be accessing this website throughout the semester, and so it'd be nice if you could have something easier to remember than a uh, automatically generated password. You can also change what email address Sona will send alerts and reminders to by clicking on the Provide an Alternate Email Address here. This way, if you want to receive emails at a Gmail or Yahoo or other email address other than your A&M email address, you can do so. Of course, the thing you'll want to do with an online experiment system is to sign up for studies. You can do this by clicking the green View Available Studies button on the top left. Please note that nothing will show up during the first two weeks of classes when you click on this button, as the first week is to get everyone signed up in Sona, and the second week is for the pre-screen, which I'll explain in a moment. Let's pretend for now, though, that it's the third week of class and you're ready to sign up for studies. You'll simply click here and you'll be taken to a page that lists all the studies with available time slots. You can also sort by date by selecting a date in this text box in the upper right. You'll see some information about each study on this page, most importantly, how many credits each study is worth. Remember, one credit is equal to 30 minutes of research time. Please make sure that you match any eligibility requirements listed in this column on the page because some researchers require specific types of participants for their study, and if you do not meet the eligibility requirements, you may not be able to participate in the study even if you show up on time and you won't earn any credits. Let's say, though, that you're a female, so you decide to click on Example Study 1 to see what time slots are available. You'll just click on the maroon View Time Slots Available button to see more information about this study. Now you'll be taken to a page with some more information about the study. You see that the study type here is a standard lab study, which means that it takes place at a physical location on campus. There are also online studies and multiple part studies, so you can check here to get an idea for what type of study this is. Next, you can see again how many credits this is worth and again how long it will take to complete. Remember, one credit equals 30 minutes of research time. Some studies may have preparation instructions in addition to or instead of eligibility requirements. Again, make sure you can do whatever the instructions are listed for preparation uh, and that you do so before you show up for the study to make sure you'll earn credit. Let's say for now though you are a female and you decide that you can wash your hands. Clearly this is the study for you. Simply click the view time slots for the study to view open time slots. Now you'll be taken to a page that lists all open time slots for this study. Simply find one that fits in your schedule and click Sign Up. You will now be taken to a confirmation page. Please write down some key information here from the screen and however you're keeping track of your uh, schedule, particularly the date and time and the location of the study so you can show up at the right time in the right place. The psychology department has labs across campus, so your study may not be in the psychology building. If you have questions about where the study will take place or the preparation instructions, you can email the experimenter listed in SONA here for more information. Uh, the experimenter's address is listed within SONA and you'd be able to look it up later as well if you need to. Please do not email your instructor or the SONA coordinator or administrator as they do not have specific information for individual studies. Now when you click the home button, you will see that you have one credit pending out of 14 credits required on the top right of the page. This overview is a nice way to keep track of your progress at a glance. Pending credits are ones that you have signed up for but not yet completed or that you've attended but the researcher has not yet granted you credit for. Please be patient as researchers need to manually grant credit for every participant and so sometimes it can take a day or two before the system is updated. Earned credits up here are what you have earned towards your requirement. Let's say you realize, however, that you have a dentist appointment during the time you just signed up for your study. No worries. If you realize you cannot make a study three or more hours before your time slot, simply go over to the left of the page and click on the View or Cancel My Study Appointments to cancel conflicting time slots. You'll be taken to a page that lists all of your study signups. All you need to do is find the time slot to cancel and click the Cancel button. Sona will then take you to a page that asks you to confirm that this is the study you would like to cancel. Please make sure you have the right time slot before clicking yes, I want to cancel, because as soon as you do cancel a time slot, it becomes available for any other student to sign up for. 
And with often over 1,000 students in a semester, you may not be able to get your time slot back if you change your mind. Once you click the Cancel button, you'll be taken back to your list of signups. You can see now that that time slot is gone, and you should receive a confirmation email about the cancellation as well. If you realize last minute you were unable to attend a study, say you realize that your car has a flat tire just as you're trying to leave your house, please leave, email the researcher listed in SONA. That way your experimenter isn't just sitting around waiting for you to arrive, and you also won't get an unexcused no-show, which I'll explain in a moment. To quickly recap, please make sure to read each experiment carefully. Remember that some experiments may require certain populations, so make sure that you meet any requirements listed in SONA. Please note that you can only participate in any single study once. SONA will not let you sign up for the same study over and over again. Finally, make sure to write down the date, time, and location of the study so you can be at the right place at the right time. You will also receive an email confirmation and reminders about your signups, so there is no reason to forget your time slot. Again, if you're unable to cancel or unable to attend a study and realize three or more hours before, just cancel in SONA like I just demonstrated. If you realize less than three hours before, please email your experimenter to let them know you will not be attending. Remember, researchers are people too, so please be courteous of their time. Do not contact the advising office or the department secretaries or your instructor or the subject pool coordinator about missing a study. They do not have anything to do with individual studies and will not be able to help you. If you miss a study and have either canceled in SONA or sent your experimenter an email, then you'll have no problem if you miss a study. At most, you'll receive an, an excused no-show, which does not count against you in any way. However, if you miss your study and did not cancel in SONA and did not let your experimenter know ahead of time, you will receive what's called an unexcused no-show. If you get too many unexcused no-shows in a row, SONA will think you are no longer an active student and will freeze your account. If this happens, you can contact the subject pool coordinator to re-enable your account, but it's a pain, so please make sure to show up on time to your experiments or cancel if you need to, and you won't have any problem. Briefly now, I'll explain what to expect during the experiment session. First, please make sure you arrive on time, as most researchers will not admit late arrivals. Experimental sessions are usually run back to back, so if they start five minutes late for you, then the next participant will be started five minutes late, and so on, and that just won't work. During the session, the experimenter will give you either a signed credit slip or a copy of your consent form. Please keep these pieces of paper in a safe place, as they are the only physical proof you've participated in a study. While we've never had an issue with a student thinking they earn more credits than what their SONA account has recorded, if you feel you are missing credits you have earned, these papers are the only way to prove that you've attended uh, the additional studies not recorded in SONA. During studies, you will be asked to do ordinary tasks, such as filling out questionnaires, watching videos, reading passages, playing games on a computer, and so on. Before you begin, however, you will be give, given an informed consent document that will detail what you can be expected to ask to do in the study, if there will be any video or audio recordings, if things like your heart rate will be measured, and so on. You will then be asked to give consent to participate by signing at the end of the page or clicking on a button that says, I agree to continue. Just because you've consented, however, does not mean you have to complete the study. You can decide to stop at any time for any reason. You don't even need to give a reason. All you need to do is let the experimenter know you do not want to participate any longer, and you can leave the experiment. However, you will only receive credit for the amount of time you've spent engaged in research. Say, for example, you are 20 minutes into a 60-minute, or two-credit study, when you decide you no longer want to participate. That is completely fine. However, the experimenter will only grant you one credit because you spent 30 minutes or less participating in research. Finally, at the end of the study, you will de be debriefed and the experimenter will disclose the full purpose of the study. At this point, feel free to ask your experiment any questions you may have about what you did and why. If you ask these sorts of questions earlier in the study, you will likely be asked to wait until the end because questions um, uh, <coughs> uh, asked to the end to ask questions about why you were doing things. This is because psychology research is interested in how people react to a variety of, of situations and stimuli without knowing what the experimenters already expect. It's not really interesting research if participants react how they are expected to react, especially if that's not how they would really act if they didn't know the expectations. 
It's for this same reason that we ask that you please do not discuss studies you have participated in with your friends or classmates. That way they don't know what is expected of them either. So what benefits do you get out of participating in research? Perhaps most obviously, you'll earn credit towards your research participation requirement so you can earn a grade in your, in your Intro to Psychology class. More importantly, however, you'll gain a better understanding of psychology research and be exposed to the cutting edge of psychological science. The studies that you will be participating in are real psychology studies being conducted by graduate students and faculty here at Texas A&M that are being published in psychology journals and making their way into textbooks and courses like the ones you are taking here. You are literally part of the cutting edge of psychological science, which is a really unique way to learn more about psychology. Additionally, by being engaged when you participate in studies, you'll have an opportunity to help researchers here at Texas A&M conduct the highest quality research, which helps the department bring in grants from institutions like the National Science Foundation and the National Institute of Mental Health. Grants from these big institutions not only help Texas A&M look good, they also help pay for overhead costs, like keeping the lights on in the building. Uh, they also help pay for graduate and faculty salaries and more. Everything grants pay for are less things that students' tuition need to cover. You can't really help your chemistry professor earn grants for his or her research, but you're really integral to helping the psychology department conduct research and with our ability to earn grants. As I mentioned before, there is an additional research opportunity called the pre-screen that is available for fall and spring semesters. There is no pre-screen during the summer sessions. The pre-screen is an online survey that will measure different things about yourself. You will earn one or two credits for participating. The exact amount varies by semester based upon how many questions are included in the pre-screen. Participation in the pre-screen not only gives you research credit though, it also makes, may make you eligible for additional studies. I mentioned before that some studies require specific types of participants. It's pretty easy for you to say that if you are female or not, or if you can wash your hands, but it's more difficult to know if you're in the top, say, in the top 10% of people for extroversion. If a researcher is interested in studying highly extroverted people, however, he or she will include a few pre-screen questions about extroversion and then invite qualified participants to his or her study. So not only will you earn more credit for participating in the pre-screen, but you may also increase the number of studies you can participate in. The pre-screen is open to all Intro to Psychology students for one week, from the first Friday of classes through 5 p.m. on the second Friday of classes for fall and spring semesters. Please see your syllabus or the announcements on the SONA homepage for the exact dates. The pre-screen is taken online and will show up as a pop-up when you first log into SONA during the week it is open. Please note that studies will not show up until the pre-screen is closed on SONA so don't panic if you complete it and get so excited to start research that you start looking for available studies and don't see anything. You will have until the pre-screen closes, usually at the end of the second week of class, until 5 p.m. on the last day of class of the semester to complete your research requirement. Please see your syllabus or the announcements page on the SONA homepage for the exact dates. I strongly encourage you try to complete your research hours as soon as possible. Seven hours may seem like a lot, but you won't have any trouble if you start early. Remember, many people procrastinate until the end of the semester, and because of all the increase in students in trying to fill time slots, it becomes very hard to find an open time slot at all, let alone one that fits in your busy end of the year schedule. Take care of your research participation early, however, and you'll have nothing to worry about come the end of the semester, at least as far as your research is concerned. If you have questions about SONA, there is an information and instruction page located on the Texas A&M Psychology Department website. There is also an FAQ page posted within SONA itself. If you have specific questions or issues about a specific study, such as no credit being posted after a few days, um, or if you have an issue with the schedule or questions about where the study will take place, and so on, please contact the experimenter listed in SONA by the email listed within SONA. If you're having trouble with SONA itself, such as you cannot log in or you, have a ha or you cannot resolve a question by contacting your experimenter, please contact the SONA system administrator at tamusubjectpool at gmail.com. This email address is listed at the bottom of every TAMU Psychology SONA webpage, so it's very easy to find if you need help. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy participating in research this semester.